this Saturday did an MX 90s race at Leisure Lakes. Just going to the start for the first race. Harry's getting a bit of tips off his dad. Look, get the elbows out. He's going to need them in this big boy class. So I've just sent my dad down to find me a, a good rut. Try and get down the inside of a couple. Obviously, it's mixed with 450s. So if I can get a good start, uh, that'll definitely help. Track's a little bit wet from the rain we had Friday night. Hopefully it'll be good. I mean, look at my dad doing that gardening. He's had some practice. <laughs> Have fun, he says. He says that before every race, but it's not fun when you've got arm pump and there's three people hunting you down. So yeah, just waiting for the board to go up now. <coughs> Trying to get comfy on the bike. Here we go. So 15 seconds up. Five seconds. Oh, we're off. So Lomas getting a flyer on the big 450 there. Just following him into first turn. Getting a bit of roost. We're in third, so not a bad start. Send it off that. Getting quite a bit of roost in this race because it is pretty wet. So Lomas just been overtook there for first, so they're having a good little scrap. Managed to sneak on the inside here. Oh, getting some bad roost. Try the outside and Lomas nearly gets back past me. Just managed to hold it. Up the inside, don't want him to come back up the inside of me. I'm trying to settle into the race now, we're in second, got a good view on first, just try and uh, pace myself and make a pass where possible because it is quite tight, it's hard to pass. I'll try the wide line again here, you see Matt just sneak up the inside. Yeah, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> so yeah, I got I got roosted really bad. As you can see, it's quite hard to see here, but this is the pass I make on first. Just go round the outside. Shit a bus really, but had to be done. I had problems with my goggles, so the sooner I got into the lead, I could throw my goggles off and then just try and finish the race off. See my goggles there flapping. I'm just coming down the runoff. I've just won the first race, and yeah, there's a big fight going on. So I'm just like, yeah, we'll wipe the GoPro, see what we can, see what we can see, see if we catch any action. But it's just settling down, just as I'm, just as I'm about to get here. So. Apparently I think two kids ended up knocking each other off on the track and then the dads got involved and yeah, I think he got hit around the head. You can see one guy there full of mud. Not the best example for the kids but heat of the moment thing I guess. So yeah, won the first race. Uh, managed to pull through, pick my lines, and uh, yeah, we're just coming down the runoff now. Quite a windy morning. You can see this guy's gazebo's gone flying. Uh, nice 24 MX gazebo over his camper there. So just on the gate for race two. In the first race, one of the bike markers actually hit hit the side of me. Uh, I don't think he did it on purpose, just by accident. I was taking my goggles off and he just hit the side casing and all the oil come out and uh, smashed up my side casing. So if you can tell by the sound, uh, I'm actually on a 252 stroke for the second two races, which kindly borrowed off uh, Pingu. So 
thanks to Pingu for letting me use your new 2020 252 straw. Looking down at the gate now. Oof, nearly missed jump there. So not too bad. Third or fourth into the turn. Try to go up the inside here, give this two stroke a bit much and the animal just fires out about here. And I lose all my momentum. A couple of people pass me with the drive. So yeah, I'm just thinking, settle down now, Ryan. This is not your bike, you do not want to bend it and smash it into pieces. It's only done six hours. Just get used to it and settle in. So oh, he got a kick there. So go around the outside of a couple here, just carry some momentum, stood up on the pegs. Squeeze in there. So we're in fourth now. My aim is just to get used to the bike. Obviously I've not ridden, not raced the two strokes since back in the 85s on the Ondas, so it was different, but loving the power. Yeah, I go wide here just to keep it smooth and this guy has a bit of a superman. Whoa! Nearly took me down with him but managed to squeeze back. getting nice and rough now just trying to find a couple of smooth lines see where I can make them passes later on in the race when needed okay, Harry Foster just taking the inside I managed to just carry that momentum around the outside and then squeeze him in on this turn so I'm into third now and about sort of three or four laps into the race and just got to set my sights on the, uh, the leaders now Matt Lomas has uh, gone through into first. He's trying to make a pass on second now on Luke. So we're coming down this inside here. Managed to swing shot in, slide across. A little bit of a love tap there that had to be done. We got a bit of roost on the camera, so I'll take this wide line here and boom. Thanks to the tree, it wipes the camera for us. So it does that a couple of times during this. So yeah, I wasn't doing that on purpose. I swear that was just just an accident. So Matt's there in the lead now. I think we're about halfway into the race. So I'm just trying to find a couple of smooth lines, and we're on the back of him. And then he decides to go wide here for a back marker. And I'm like, okay, thanks, Matt. I'll take that. And that's into first now. And this back marker, I'm like, which way are you going, which way are you going, move. It comes across on me a little bit. But we managed to make the pass and then, then we're in the lead, so just kind of got my momentum going now. Got used to the bike a bit. We're feeling good, we're feeling good. Just got a few back markers to pass here. Send off this jump. Wow! That two stroke just sounds awesome. Yeah, a couple more back markers here. Again, that tree just doing a lovely job of cleaning the camera. Wish I had one of them on every track. A little wipe as you go past every lap. <laughs> Could have done with that in the first race. Just trying to use them wide lines, use the lines, save energy, miss a couple of the little sharp bumps. And there it is, the checkered flag. So we managed to win the second race as well on uh, Pingu's two stroke. So Big thanks to uh, Pingu again, which is Chris Hughes, for letting me use his bike. Just looking for a bit of action, seeing if there's any fighting again this time, but no, it's all it's all good, it's all normal, so we just cruise back to the van. So last race now, sun's been out, so the track's drying up really well. Just 
getting them goggles on, getting ready. Again, we're on the 252 stroke of uh, Pingu's. So hopefully we can uh, get a decent start and just take down another race win. So 15 second boards up now. And we're off, so we get quite a nice jump. That 450 and match rips off again. Get a little bit boxed in there, a little bit filled in, but not too bad of a start. I think we're about fifth. Keep on sending that jump. Big hole there that you land in. Managed to sneak into fourth here. Again, obviously this isn't my bike, so we made a couple of little suspension uh, changes for this race, just to see if I could make it feel a little bit more like mine. So I'm just again just getting into it these first few laps. Oh, someone in the sneak past there, close the door. And again, I'm trying this line down the right here to just cut across and make a little sneaky pass. I'm just finding a few lines right now which hopefully I can make a pass later in the race. So I'm in fourth, just behind Matt now. Found a nice little line round here so I square this corner off. And just carry that momentum round the outside again. Just up on the pegs, up a gear, 252 stroke, nice and light, working the street. So we're in third now, the two leaders are there, I'm just trying to settle into the race, we're about three laps in now. So we're on the back here, and again this line, just come down the right, and then use miss them braking bumps right here, and just swing across. We get a little bit close there, he's okay, he didn't come off, it's all good. So we got to second, just got to sort of wait for my moment here, feeling good, definitely liking this 252 stroke out of them U-bends, it hooks up, stretched my arms I think this weekend but, <laughs> Luke ran him really well though I must admit. Solid every race, think he had a bit of a big crash, he was pushing in the first one. So he goes wide here, so I sneak on the inside, see a little bit of a gap. Get the power down and just out drag him down this straight. But then what I do, I go wide here and the front wheel just washes out. And then we nearly come together there, but he's just manages to squeeze down, so we're back into second. Gotta find another way past trying this outside but it is a little bit rough now so can't make that stick so now I'm thinking right let's do you think we can make this this line work again down this right and square across well there's one way to find out and there we go just take the line straight away from them nowhere they can go I think I made about five or six passes there this weekend, so that was a great line. My mm -hmm. dad's just cheering me on, telling me I've got a nice little lead there. See the track's got real nice now. Now this was pretty funny, I'm coming on to some back markers. Come round here, Mitch Collins, nutty. Thinks I'm passing him, so he gives me a little nudge here. Boom! Bet he goes down. <laughs> Fair play to him. He didn't know I was lapping him, he thought I was racing him, so just trying to hold his line there. You'll see it from the actual GoPro here. Here and there, I'm just lapping Kieran. I think he's uh, he had a big crash in this last race, so his, his head was a bit in space, I think, right there. <laughs> We get on this inside, Mitch goes wide look, 
he thinks I'm the two stroke he's been battling with all race, tries to push me out about here, boom, I look behind and yeah, he's on the floor, <laughs> Gearing manages to sneak back past, so now he came up afterwards, apologised, didn't know it was me, it's just racing, it happens, you know, it was funny, I found it funny, I was laughing in my helmet, <laughs> This guy it's a bit of a kick right here. Nasty. Got a nice lead. Just uh, tried to find the smooth lines and just keep the race going for a nice win again. So yeah, managed to take all three wins this weekend. To say I wasn't on my bike, I really enjoyed the 252 stroke. Definitely got some power, and uh, but you can ride it nice and smooth. You know, you don't need to be aggressive on it. You can be up a gear and just on them pegs using the torque. But you can't beat the sound of it, can you? A berm, and it's just so yeah. Big thanks to Pingu for the bike hire. Uh, definitely all you want, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.